G'day guys, welcome back to another rig review from uh, Shannon's Engineering. My name's Shannon and I'm going to show you around our latest build. This is a brand new 2020 GXL Land Cruiser, dual cab. Uh, straight from the dealership we've had this one and we've done pretty much everything on the whole car. So uh, I'm just going to take a couple of minutes to show you around what we've done and we might as well get straight into it. So as you can see, it's a graphite cruiser with a color-coded Shannon's engineering tray um, this one's going up to Cairns so have not met the owner have only spoken to him on the phone and to be honest I don't even know what he looks like so um, it doesn't matter where you are in Australia we can definitely sort you out with your brand new car um, okay I'm gonna start at the front up here we've got the deluxe ARB bull bar with the large large tube colour coded and we've got some steady Type X Pro and our new Shannon's Engineering grill. We have updated all the LED all the lights to LED up the front, including the parkers, the high and low beam, your yeah, driving lights, and there's even a light bar up on the roof there. You can actually turn those spotlights off from in the driver's seat so if you don't want to have them on in the city or whatever you can do that look at the safari r-max snorkel ocam towing mirrors we've got the new rhino rack pioneer platform with our signature little lights under the eave there they're working on the um second battery so that's not going to drain it or anything up the front, we've got the steady 40 inch light bar up there. We've had to um, make our own brackets to tuck it in nicely and not make it poke out too high above the roof rack. Uh, we've got window tint, color coded side steps with um, the flooring planks powder coated black. We've got the Pro Comp Trilogy uh, rims with BF Goodrich KM3 tires and suspension wise we've got a Dobinson's three inch lift kit with uh, superior shocks front and back the back springs are actually rated for 500 kilos constant load so um, this guy's going to be using it for work and towing a lot of trailers so um, we've just beefed up the back a bit so it doesn't sag um, okay the tray the tray is um, fitted with obviously drop sides uh, they're made from 3 mil aluminium so they're nice and solid and we've even put some checker plate on the insides there so you don't uh, scratch the inside or whatever stainless steel hardware throughout every little rivet and bolt is stainless steel you'll find that on all of our trays even underneath here as you can see it's all all stainless steel wherever we can um, you can see the quality in that. In that. Um, rightio, one piece mud guards, again all colour coded, and in the toolbox, we've got automatic lighting. I don't know if you notice that light come on and off, and we have the fuel filler right there, and it even has a little light under there as well. And this thing here, this is a little patch lead we made up. Uh, the owner is not getting a canopy right now, but 
in the future he is going to be purchasing one so what we have done over here is we've already installed our um, canopy plug here so that 12 pin plug, plug will get your rear view camera working the fridge power the internal lighting and central locking if you want it later on so the idea behind this plug is um, if he wants to chuck a fridge in the back for the tray or some spot lighting or whatever you can just use the canopy plug there to access the power Radio around the back we've got the new um, halo tail lights reverse light there too let me just turn those lights on for you little SC badge lights up too there we go they're like a halo um, LED light there no trundle drawer on this one so owner's choice okay around this side automatic lighting as well and in here we've got the um, tap connected to the underwater under tray water tank and the air compressor switch so Coming away there and then the water pump there's obviously no water in it right now so um, I don't want to use that in here again uh, sold the guy a water pump um, what use would it be without a hose so I've included a brand new hose there with nice brass fittings okay what else yeah OCAM mirrors up the front and then dual batteries in the engine bay with the red arc BC to DC, which you can see tucked in nicely there. And that also has a solar input as well. So if you want to charge your battery while you're camping, you can just roll out a blanket. Inside. Inside, like I said earlier, we've got the spotlight isolator switch there if you don't want your driving lights on. And we've got the Alpine upgraded head unit with uh, speakers in the doors front and back as you can see there we have the Department of Interior roof console with all the pockets massive light there and some nice little map lights um, we've also got the Department of Interior floor console as well with a couple of cup holders a couple of USBs and a couple of blank switching plates there if you want to put a few more accessories on haven't touched the seats like I said, all brand new. This car's only got how many Ks we got on this one? 148. There's the Alpine firing up. So, like I said earlier, he's not getting a canopy now, but we have actually included a little switch here, which you can probably see. Where is it? Just here. This little rocker switch there will switch between the two rear cameras. So, um, while he's driving he can actually see out the tow bar camera or flick to the canopy camera which uh, will be on the back of the canopy when he gets one um, up the top here we've got the two spares they are mounted to the headboard all our um, Land Cruiser trays come with uh, provisions for spare tires to be mounted there and he's also opted for a removable back rack now if you can notice on the top of this rack we do have some rhino rack um, extrusion pieces attached to the top of that. The reason behind that is is to protect the top of the headboard and the back rack and it also makes it a perfect straight line across the top onto the roof platform. Um, some of you may be asking why didn't we just make the headboard a bit higher because when we stick the canopy on the canopy is uh, this height here same as the headboard and then when you put a platform on the canopy, then they're, then they're level then. So this is giving you both options for keeping the roof level, for carrying long things like canoes or building materials or whatever you want to carry. At least it's all level, regardless if you have a tray uh, canopy or not. So that's the reason behind that. And like I said, it gives you a bit of protection too from scratching the top. If you, this guy's a builder, so this is the, uh, the work, new work car. Uh, so that really wraps it up It's a very nice car and it's very shiny. I've just polished it for him. It's about to go on a truck to Cairns on Monday and just Thought I'd make this video Anyway
pretty much wraps it up. I just filmed this on the first take, so if I haven't missed anything, uh, there will be some more info on this on our website uh, under the recent builds tab. So thanks for watching and have a nice day.